Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the 28 tray uh, unit. It's model number 28 CUD. As you can see, this is a very large commercial machine. It's actually about the largest you can go before you start stepping into the industrial units. Uh, that is why it's probably one of our most popular units. Uh, another reason being is, and we'll show you in a minute, is the huge trays that you get with this unit. It is a dual zone unit, so you have a top zone and a bottom zone. Uh, they are completely separated from one another and sealed off, so no cross contamination or anything like that comes in handy if you just want to run a single zone at a time or maybe you're doing different times and temperatures for different products simultaneously. Taking a closer look at the inside, you'll see these large trays that I mentioned earlier. So these are 33 and a half inches long and then 20 inches deep. So these are the only trays that we have that are actually different from the rest. All the other units have 16 by 16. And like I said, these are 20 by 33 and a half. So you really start getting up into um, industrial kind of rating batch capacities with this. Um, obviously, as you scale up, the more smaller trays you have can be kind of a pain whenever you're doing, um, you know, your post batch uh, cleanup and even prep and everything's like that. So it takes about 66 of the other size trays to actually match the same capacity as this 28 tray model. So you'll see we actually have 14 trays up in the top of the unit and another 14 in the bottom, the two independent zones. And then we have a drip tray here at the base just to make cleanup easier. And these are all 304 food grade uh, mesh stainless steel trays. Our units come with commercial grade double walled stainless steel housing. Now the reason this is important is because it actually leads to better energy efficiency and also more even drying throughout the actual chamber itself. So instead of the outside of the machine heating up and then that heat being lost uh, that's going to be contained inside of the actual drying chamber and used to dry the food um, ergo actually keeping your energy cost as low as humanly possible. Our viewing windows on the machines are made of tempered glass which is heat resistant. It's also made for commercial grade use so it can withstand up to 10,000 psi impact. Our control panels are actually made of tempered glass, so this makes them super easy to clean. They can also be used wearing food safety gloves in the kitchen environment, and they are made for commercial use, and so they have a 10,000 PSI impact rating. Our commercial range features horizontal airflow. So what this means is that the air intake vents are located at the back of the machine. That's where the fresh air is drawn into the drying chamber by the fans, ran over the heating coils to heat up to the temperature that you've set, and then that's run across the product and out the front of the unit through the exhaust vents. Now during that process, after it passes the heating coil, you're gonna have a 360 degree airflow throughout the chamber as it moves from the back of the unit to the front of the unit. This ensures you get even drawing on every single tray. Our control panels have a few additional features beyond just being able to do the independent zone control and things like that. These features include a 99 hour timer. So this means you can run the unit for 99 hours straight on the timer. That won't void the warranty or anything like that. Like some of the other brands on the market, our units are made to be used for nonstop commercial use. The next one is a memory function. So what this means is when you're running a recipe or a cycle, that time and temperature that you set for that specific recipe, next time that you turn the machine on or turn that zone back on, that time and temperature will automatically be um, displayed there ready for you to go. The next feature is ambient air mode. So what this allows you to do is just activate the fans themselves without activating the heating coil. So you're just gonna be pulling ambient air from the room into the unit, into the drying chamber across your product and out the front of the unit. You may wanna do this for some herbs that uh, require really low temperatures or potentially if you're using your dehydrator in an open air warehouse environment and it's in the middle of summer, uh, you may not actually need to activate the heating coils in order to dry your product. Our 28 tray unit includes 304 food grade stainless steel mesh trays, so 28 of those, as well as stainless steel drip trays in the base of each zone. These trays are removable. Uh, they're also dishwasher safe, uh, food grade, and anti-corrosive. We also offer additional sets of trays that you can purchase with the unit. Obviously, you can get an additional set of the mesh trays that already come with the unit. You can also add on pan trays. Uh, these are primarily used for liquids, soups, things of that nature. Um, they do inhibit a bit of the airflow in the actual zones themselves, so we don't recommend them unless they're primarily being used for actual liquids, liquids. If you're just gonna be doing things like powder or really fine products that may fall through the mesh, we do have our non-stick matte range, which would actually be primarily used for those types of products. 
We provide two different types of non-stick mats that can be purchased for all of our units. We have a mesh type and a solid type. The mesh type is primarily going to be used for most products. Things like fruit, vegetables, meat products, anytime that you want airflow on top of the product as well as underneath. Uh, where the solid ones come in handy is maybe if you're doing things like really fine grain or powders, um, even liquids and things like that for fruit roll-ups could be uh, used for the solid ones. But if you're going to use a primary actual liquid liquid, then that's where we would suggest that you use the pan trays themselves. Thanks for taking a look at our 28 CUD overview video. Uh, if there's any questions you have about the unit that maybe we didn't cover in this video, you can head over to the product page. You'll see a full list of specifications there on the unit, uh, all the technical specs and any other kind of things that you may need to know. Alternatively, you can reach out to our customer care agents. You can do this via chat on the website, email, or even give us a phone call. We're open 24 hours a day and seven days a week for your convenience, so uh, we're more than happy to help with any questions that you may have. Thanks a lot and have a good one.